We've talked about the ones, the nines and the nineties and those behaviors. So how do you actually start using them in order to you know, achieve growth? Well, in the startup industry, there is this thing called minimum viable product. What minimum viable product means is essentially that you find something that users find usable about your product and then you build your business around that thing. For content, it's the, actually the same exact thing. Uh, think about it in, uh, in the case of Facebook. Right? When Facebook was launched, there were a million different types of functionality on Facebook. But there was one thing that people started talking about, and that was people being tagged in photos. What Facebook was smart to do then was that they built their whole messaging system around uh, tagging photos. Now, that's in the startup, in the product development uh, um, business. When you find a feature within your big thing that consists of a lot of features, focus your messaging on that thing. I like to call that thing the smallest acceptable truth, especially when it comes to content. Now, the smallest acceptable truth is essentially something that is so easy to pick up by other users that they're willing to talk about it. And so your job with the ones is essentially, you know, prototyping content. So together with them, I mean, in some cases, your ones can be uh, your ad agency or it can be your coworkers, or it can be, you know, whoever is passionate about the stuff that you do. And then you prototype stuff. You prototype, prototype, content, da 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 da, da. You publish, you publish, you publish, nothing happens. And then sometimes, sometimes this content just yeah, there's a little bit of a crew around it talking about this one thing. It might be, you know, a blooper, it might be a very serious issue, it might be something that actually stirs up some discussion. Now you know that you've gotten a smallest acceptable truth. So what you do with this smallest acceptable truth is then to find all the nines. You do this by, you know, searching through keywords, everyone else who might be interested in this one particular thing. And then you take that content and you put it, or that message, and you put it right in front of their face. And for that purpose, you either need, you know, your own network, like an email send list or something like that, or you need to buy advertising to put it in front of them so, so they will actually be able to, to interact. You know that they're interested in this smallest acceptable truth. You only need to show it to them for them to start activating themselves. So that's when you reach out to the nines. So first you co-create all this nice content, like different variations, prototyping that stuff, you know, until you find something that some people, a small group of people have started talking about. That's the smallest acceptable truth that you bring in front of the nines. And given their personality, they will start reacting to it because they want to shine about something that they know. When they are interacting with this thing, they do it by writing blog posts, writing comments, you know, sharing the stuff with their opinions on top of it. What happens is that you, your content is now connected with their networks, with their 90s. And so this is really where growth starts to happen. You co-create, collaborate, prototype some content piece. You bring it in front or the smallest acceptable truth in front of the nines that are interested in that thing. And then they connect it to their big networks. This is virality in action. And so you can actually structure this and plan this if you have a process to, to go from working with your ones creating content, pitching it to the nines and then reaching their following. And this is what virality is all about. Now, the trick is then to actually become really good at finding these smallest acceptable truths and finding processes to actually work with your ones, pitch to the nines and then reaching the nineties. And that's what activation is all about.